क्या देख रहे हो अरे यार हॉरर मूवी देख रहा है गंदा सा टीवी है कुछ मालूम ही नहीं पड़ रहा है अरे मैंने नया टीवी लिया है चल क्या बात कर रहा है क्या टीवी यार टू गुड गुड टीवी नाइस टीवी यार थैंक यू मूवी या शो लुक सो रियल Hey guys this is Vishal here and today we are going to speak about the LG OLED TV There are a few in line of OLED TVs in the LG lineup If you would like to know the pricing or compare then I shall leave a link in the description below This super slim panel comes with an amazing display mounted in a glass border has a rear that has a carbon fiber appearance about it and a built-in metallic sound bar that not only looks gorgeous with the straight lines but sounds amazing too it is quite simply amazing if you're looking for a tv that can deliver the blackest of blacks 4k and hdr10 high dynamic range then you'll be wanting an oled lg tv and from the week we have spent with this tv it sure seems like the best choice you could make from LG's OLED range and we shall look at it in this video. It comes with a stand which has a nice brush based metal finish which goes with the speaker's design. We also have a patch cable or composite cables for connection which you might require to do with your older accessories. We also find two different remotes with the TV. One is the magic remote with the pointer which has an accelerometer and the second is a normal click based remote. Taking a look at the magic remote, it has a microphone built in for a voice search and dictation. We also have the numerical keypad, the search button along with the home button, a D-pad along with the scroll wheel for a navigation through the interface. Along with the remote, we also do have a button called the focus which actually allows you to magnify or focus in on a live video. So, if you want to take a closer look at something, then it's a nice feature to have built in into the remote. The TV also can be controlled via your smartphone. All you have to do is download the app called Smartify and make sure that the TV and the mobile are connected to the same Wi-Fi or else it won't work. Once both are connected to your Wi-Fi, the app automatically detects your TV and you are greeted with the remote software where you have all the options as on the TV remote. You can even move with the pointer on the TV with the touchpad built in the app. The transition is equally smooth. The TV also comes with a pair of passive 3D glasses to view 3D contents on your TV. To take the best advantage of this, I would recommend to buy a 4K 3D enabled player. The sight of the LG's E6 screen sitting on a frame that is less than 3mm deep looks unreal. It's almost equal to a iPhone 7, held side by side to see the difference. Especially given that the majority of the panel has been made of glass rather than boring old metal or plastic, which can be seen towards the outer edge and gives a floating-like sensation to the content playing on the screen. 
The entire TV isn't so flat throughout as it has some thickness towards the bottom where it houses all the electronics and I.O. and the ventilation. In terms of the audio quality, we do have the speakers designed by Harman Kardon and they are excellent. So if you don't want to connect a home theater speaker, then we have a great set of onboard system which delivers crystal clear audio straight out of the box. There's plenty of bass without overdoing things while voices, music and movies are all well handled throughout. The TV connections are comprehensive and include 4 HDMI ports which all support 4K and HDR. There are 3 USB available out of which 2 are 2.0 USB connection and 1 3.0 connection at the side terminal. The USB connections can connect to any USB based external hard drive to view your contents. The rear terminal also contains a LAN connection, an optical audio output, a RF in and composite in. There is a power button at the back which also acts as a joystick to move around the menus and click if you cannot find the remote or standing just next to the TV. The way the OLED or organic light emitting diodes as they are called works by each pixel producing its own light independently which means there is none of the hallowing or backlight bleeding that you are likely to get from the LED edge lit or LCD TVs. The LG OLED has a wonderful uniformity and can display dark areas that are blacker than black. Being able to deliver these deep black pixels right alongside the bright white ones without any of the light bleeding gives the OLED an upper hand in delivering a clearer image when it comes to HDR contents too. The other thing is that it has an infinite off-axis viewing so there is no distortion like the polarized displays and LCD. I was completely blown away when I saw the 4K contents on the TV. It was nothing that I have experienced before. It was so crisp and sharp with the vibrant colors and darkness being pitch black. I have no words to describe it and you need to experience it yourself. But you don't need a 4K or HDR to enjoy it on this TV as even a full HD content looks brilliant. The LG's WebOS smart interface is better than any other TV that I have had my hands on. This pop-up overlay makes it quick and easy to navigate to your favorite apps, sources and channel. This includes the good stuff like the subscription streaming services of Amazon and Netflix, both offering native 4K and HDR streaming for some contents. So if I hit the home button on the remote control which brings up this ribbon at the bottom with all the apps. The interface is smooth with both the remote to navigate. Looking at the left you can see the recently accessed apps and if you want to see all of them then keep the home button pressed and bring them all up. So now you can select any of them to access. You can also move the apps around. All you need to do is just tap and hold the center button on the d-pad and move it where you intend. And if you want to uninstall any of them, then just click on the X button above it to do so. To the extreme end of the home menu, you have my channel and my content. My content, you can add contents which you wish to add later. Also in the upper right hand corner is setting. When you click, we can access the quick settings. The first one is the picture mode where you have pre-programmed options like vivid, standard, Auto Power Saving, Cinema, Cricket, Game, Photo, HDR Effect where further it has option for Low, Medium or High. And then you have the Expert Bright Room and Expert Dark Room. Further down the menu you have the Aspect Ratio where you can set different ratio as per your liking. Then you have the sound menu where different inputs can be selected for the audio output. Then further below we have the timer where you can set these in case you want to set a countdown to turn off the TV. Then you have the safety and all settings. Once you click on all setting, there is a lot going on here, but we will go only into a few main pointers. 
If you go to the picture options, you can select what you feel appropriate from the pre setting which comes along with the TV. Or you can go to the expert bright room or expert dark room. To get the best effect out of your TV, I would recommend you to play around with the setting inside each option and set it according to your light conditions in your room during the day and night. Then coming to the sound options, here you have something called the magic sound tuning. This will calibrate the speakers on the TV to your acoustics of your room. This is a nice feature to have. All you need to do is just click on the start and this will run through the calibration setup. Once it's calibrated the audio, then you can select the magic sound tuning turned off or turned on sounds like. Well, it makes a lot of improvement. Then going to the general, you have a power saving mode. So if you have an external hard drive connected to your TV to access your media, then it will turn it off if it is not being used. If you are watching any HDR content movies, it will show up at the upper right hand corner of the TV. Once this shows up, you can choose a different profile in the easy setting. It has vivid, bright and standard. HDR is the way to play it if you want the impact of vivid and contrast. The LG OLED is about as close to a flawless a TV can get for the money. It makes for a premium movie watching experience while catering for the future of 4K HDR streaming contents too. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos like these and make sure you press the like button. Thank you for watching everyone, this is Vishal and I shall catch you in my next video.